So this customer was driving along and they saw coolant leaking from the vehicle and also the temperature light came on. We got an issue with the fan, okay? So I gotta do some checks, you know, see if it's the fan motor or if it's um, the relay or the fuse that's causing the fan not to come on, right? All right, so we're under the hood, okay? So I'm gonna just try to turn on the fan, right? Both low and high speed and see if the fan will come on. So we're gonna go on to low. Let's press start. So I'm hearing the relay clicking. Does that mean the relay is good? So we're gonna just, you know, open up this package, All right? So I just purchased the new Autel diagnostic tester. Let's open up. So this is an Autel electrical system diagnostic tool, the Power Scan PS100. Okay. You may have saw it on a few videos out there, but I just got my hands on one. All right, so with that, I'm able to power up, you know, things like fuel pumps and fans and stuff like that. So this is the best time to actually break it out, right? So it came with a manual. I got a, of course, this adapter to the right here on the battery pole. Okay, we're gonna need that. All right, so you see in here, live unboxing. I also have a cigarette lighter set up if I'm in the vehicle and I want to check like let's say the motor on the seat I can also you know this add power or ground to the motor to see if it's working okay. these you gotta be careful when you're using this on electrical components I recommend that you disconnect anything that's connected before you power it up because you send power to the wrong module you can end up blowing it right so this is the probe tip it's very sharp please do not stick this into the you know jamming into the harness you definitely spread the pins right so let's put this aside we're gonna need that and it comes with a tool and a 20 feet extension so this 20 feet extension is like if i'm working in the back of a vehicle and i need to get to the battery i can check for you know power on the bulb or the lights or anything like that you know using this lead right so we're just gonna put this to the side because i don't need it Found a nice little blow molded case. All right, let's take it out and let's see exactly how it works. I'm an auto guy, as you can tell. You know, auto scan tool, auto pro. So, okay, so when you're setting this up, you got a positive and negative setup right here. You can't mess it up. It also has a square kind of finish on one and a circle, so you can't mix it up and mess up the polarity. So, you just got to put it in like this, and that's it right you can also use this for other um, tools like you want to get a power source to anything to power up direct you can just hook this up to directly and power it on if you don't have the probe right I plan on using it like that in the future all right next what we have here is a probe tip as I explained to you before do not take this and jam it into you know the harness if anything you can probably just Adapt it to certain things. Um, I got some some adapters here for my kit. All right, so I'm supposed to be able to, you know, just jack this in this way. And I just gonna put this on like this, and I can send power directly to the fan or whatever I choose to power up without sticking this, you know, big thing inside the harness, right? So the next thing I'm going to do, we're going to power it up by putting it in positive and negative. And I'm going to go directly on battery, positive and negative. Right, once you put it on, it's going to beep or it's going to come alive. So, right, and you heard that it come alive, right? So that's good, right? It's showing zero volts. So next, if I, just going to move this one better. If I want to send power, okay, you can just press the up toggle the switch up and it will send 12 volts so this reading 12.7 so I'm sending 12 volts to the tip of this probe right here and if I'm press this downwards I'm sending ground to the tip of this so I can apply a positive or a negative to the end of this tip right and also this tip right here is connected to the probe so if i want to send on ground or apply a ground to power something up i just got to hook this up 
to whatever I'm connecting, right? It could be a solenoid, an injector, um, anything that uses 12 volts, right? Also, if I want to check AC voltage, I'm just going to move this so I don't touch and damage this. Okay, so you just have to press this button right here. It have a speaker that, you know, it's also let you know the tone that you gain. But if you notice when I toggle the switch up, I get a red light. So that's real cool. And also, too, you have a nice little flashlight. So if I was like on the dash or something like that, I can, you know, see properly. So if I hit the switch here, I go to AC voltage. So if I'm checking the alternator, I can, you know, see what's going on with my men, my max, my duty cycle, my frequency, anything that, you know, has a, a time that it have to be on and off, my solenoid, you know, um, what else? I already said my alternator. Um, what else uses my fan? I can check the duty cycle of the fan. I can also just probe on to this, right? If I press the switch again, kind of hard to show you with this glare. I'm going to my resistance, okay? So I can check the resistance of anything, right? So let's say I'm on resistance right now. I touch these two ends, which is this probe and this probe. I mean, this is basically a voltmeter as well. So if I touch these two together, I'm expect to see continuity that's passing through this probe and coming to this one, right? So let's try it. So here's buzzing, right? So it's letting me know that I have continuity that's flowing through this cable back to the tip of this. It's letting me know that all is well, all right? Can I use it when I'm diagnosing? Yes, I can, because I can check for resistance in, let's say, a fuel injection system before I, you know, make a call, right? So let's press this button again. I'm gonna come to the buzzer noise, right? So if I hold on it, if I press and hold the, you know, you see that red symbol showing that no noise. So if I tug it up and down, there ain't no noise. Which, I mean, I'm gonna leave it on because I wanna hear the, the sound, right? And that's about it, man. It's really built up. Oh, no, it's not. Right, so we got the reset button right here. So let, let's say forever you send power when you're not supposed to and something happens, you could probably just hold this switch down and it will just reset, okay? But so far, it look like it's really neat to have, right? So you just gotta be careful, especially around the electronics on this vehicle. And for instance, let's say I wanna see what my voltage is, right? I wanna hold it right here, I'm just gonna touch the battery. See, I'm getting 12 volts of the battery. If I wanna see my ground, let's touch the ground. All right, so that's letting me know that I have a good ground and also have a 12 volt source coming off that battery. All right, so with that in mind, let's go onto the fan and see if we can power the fan on and see if the fan is the problem or if there's something along the circuit. Alright, so I'm going to disconnect the fan right here. It do have a resistor for the fan, and most of the time that do tend to get problems, but let's check it out. And what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing like a, a burnt mark right here. So it's letting me know high voltage, right, was passing through one of these pins right here. It's actually burnt it. Okay, so is it a loose fitment? It could be, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to take my probe, which is a flat blade, right, I'm going to put it in on one side, and with the next side of my blade, I'm going to apply power to this fan. I don't really um, care what direction it turns, I just want to know if the fan is working or not. So let's put this in here, and let's apply power. Okay, so we're hearing the fan running. So I'm gonna take the buzzer off so you can hear the fan running. I'm gonna put it back on voltage and you hear the fan. Okay, so by using this tool, I was able to 
identify that the fan does work right and it's spinning without no resistance i mean the main fuse didn't blow so um you know the fan is good right so the next check i'm gonna do is we have a next cable here i'm gonna unplug this one right this is what's coming to the resistor kind of hard that out. and also what i'm seeing here it also have a like it's melted right here as well okay so let's do some checks there as well and let me see if we have power coming to any one of these pins okay so with that i gotta put the key on okay so the key is on right now so i'm going to use in conjunction with my scan tool to see if i'm getting power coming off from that relay so let's come out i just got probably got kicked out uh, let's go back into diagnostics are right, you hearing things moving which is like the throttle body and things like that so okay so we're gonna go on to pin one which is this one that basically look like it have a melted area just gonna go in with my blade same size so i'm not hurting it or spreading the pins i'm getting zero volts okay cool next i'm gonna go into the next pin and see what i'm getting in zero volts but you also see the difference between that zero volts and this one that one i was getting basically a ground and let's go into the next pin here and see what's going on i got zero volts again on this pin so with that now i'm going to go into engine unload it and we're going to go right back into the bi-directional part of this scan tool and we're going to you know try to turn the fan on and see exactly what's going on i'm not sure which pin belongs to the low or the high speed um, part of the fan but i would assume that either pin one or two is going to the fan setting power to the fan and then the third one is the one for the um the ground right so let's go into high speed so if i turn this on i'm expecting to see 12 volts come on the screen right here so let's try it so you see i'm getting 12 volts so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put back on the buzzer so you can hear it. okay let's press start Let's stop. Let's start again. And let's stop. So that's letting me know that I'm getting control on the high speed part of the fan, right? Because I'm getting power coming on that leg, right? So let's switch to pin two, which is the middle pin. And let's see if the if that's the low speed. Oh, I went on the wrong one. Let's come on from here. Let's go into low speed right so i'm also hearing the relay clicking off and on that's letting me know that the ecu do have command okay so let's press start let's stop so that's good man that's letting me know that i have control from the ecu to the relay box all the way to the fan all right so let's put it all together if the fan works the relay works i'm getting power from the fuse I'm getting power all the way up to the pins, pin one and two. I'm getting a good ground, okay? The fan runs real good without any, you know, it don't sound like it's slowing down. And also the fuse is good because, you know, the motor is not stuck. So what we got to blame is probably the fan resistor, all right? So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to replace it and let's see if we can get this fan to work. All right, so I just went to the power space. I got a used resistor off a fan. So I'm gonna put this on and see if I have control going to the fan, right? You see the fan is running. So let me know what we did fix this vehicle. So we placed on the resistor, you know, got the fan working again. Until next time, y'all take it easy. Peace.